Hello, and welcome to the Demoettes series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. Demoettes are brief instructional videos that demonstrate specific features of TDV. In this demoette, we discuss the use of triggers. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining triggers and outlining their importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of triggers. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoette. Let's begin by discussing what triggers are and why they are important for our customers. Triggers are TDV resources that can execute based on user-defined time parameters, system events, user-defined events, or JMS messages. Actions that triggers may perform include sending email, executing a procedure, gathering statistics on data sources, and reintrospecting data sources. In this demo, we will examine time-based triggers as well as triggers based on system events and user-defined events. JMS-based triggers are beyond the scope of this demo. Triggers are important to customers for many reasons. For example, they can be used to provide automated email notification to system administrators when important TDV conditions occur. They can also enable automated response to such conditions. Triggers can also be used to automate common recurring maintenance tasks. Developers can use triggers to implement complex business processes that need to execute multiple actions in an asynchronous manner. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of using triggers in TDV. Here are the business problems that we illustrate in this demo. In our first use case, system administrators want to be notified if a TDV cache is disabled. We use a timer-based trigger that executes a procedure which checks for disabled caches and emails the result. In our second use case, administrators want to be notified whenever a TDV server is started. We use a system-generated event to fire a trigger that produces an email notification. In our third use case, we want to automatically produce a data file whenever a certain procedure executes. Our first procedure generates a user-defined event that causes a trigger to fire. This trigger invokes a second procedure that produces the data file. Before you begin this demo, you must download a CSV file that is found in the additional resources that accompany this demoette. If you place this file in CTDV data, the data source will work without any reconfiguration. You must also import the CAR file that contains the triggers and other resources. Alternatively, you may build these resources from scratch. Next, you must configure an SMTP server that TDV can use for email notifications. You can then configure email notifications in TDV. The next few slides provide details on these steps. Let's set up an SMTP server so that TDV can deliver notifications via email. In this demo, we concentrate on the needs of a pre-sales engineer in a proof-of-concept scenario. We show how this engineer can use a personal Gmail account for notifications, but do so in a highly secure manner and prevent misuse of the Gmail account after the initial proof-of-concept is completed. To begin, click the account icon in the upper right corner of your Gmail web page. Then click Account. Scroll to the signing in information and make sure that two-step verification is turned on. If two-step verification is off, set it up before proceeding. This process lets you set up all your personal devices to access Gmail and ensures that you'll be notified whenever an unknown device tries to access your account. This device will not be permitted to access your account until you enter a verification code that Gmail will send to your phone via text message. When you enter this code for the new device, be sure to check the box that specifies that the new device does not require a new code every time it accesses your account. 
Of course, you want to set up all your regular devices the same way. Once you have set up two-factor authentication, you can return to the signing in account settings and click App Passwords. Under Select App, choose Other, then click the Generate button. Enter a description and click Generate. Gmail will generate a 16-character password. Copy this password to your clipboard so we can use it to set up email notifications in TDV. Note that this password will never again be visible, and you will be able to revoke it remotely whenever you want. This means that after your proof of concept is complete, you can be sure that access to your Gmail is protected. Now we can configure TDV to use our SMTP server. Open the configuration interface under the administration menu in TDV Studio. Navigate to Server, Configuration, Email. Set from address to a valid email account you want TDV to use as its sending address. Set SMTP authentication to true. Set SMTP authentication username to the username of the SMTP server. Paste your Gmail app password into the SMTP authentication user password. Set the SMTP hostname to smtp.gmail.com. Finally, set the SMTP port to 587. We are ready to begin our demo. In our first use case, a system administrator wants TDV to check periodically for any disabled caches. If disabled caches are present, they will be reported to the system administrator via email. To prepare this use case, we have built a simple cached view and then disabled the cache. We have also built a script that looks in the TDV repository database for disabled caches. Now we can define the trigger. For condition type, we choose timer event and set the timer to execute every two minutes. Our action type is send email. We specify our cache checker procedure in the resource path. The results of this procedure will be included in the email. After we enter the email recipient and a message subject and body in the fields below, our trigger is ready. Note that the trigger is currently disabled. We only want this trigger to execute during the demo because we don't want to get these emails every two minutes all day long. Click Enable, save your work, and trigger execution every two minutes will begin. Remember to disable this trigger when you no longer want to retrieve these emails. When the trigger executes, we receive the email shown here. The attached CSV file shows the output of the cache checker procedure, which lists detailed information for all disabled caches. In our second use case, a system administrator wants email notification whenever a TDV server is started. To prepare this use case, we have built a procedure that reports details of the event that triggers it. Now we can define the trigger. For condition type, we choose System Event, and we select the Server Start Event from the drop-down list. Our action type is Send Email. We specify our procedure in the resource path. The results of this procedure will be included in the email. After we enter the email recipient and a message subject and body in the fields below, our trigger is ready. Again, the trigger is currently disabled. We only want this trigger to execute during the demo. Click Enable, save your work, and the trigger is ready for execution. Stop and start your TDV server. When the trigger executes, we receive the email shown here. The attached text file shows the details of the system event. For our final use case, we want to create a user-defined event that will cause TDV to write a data file. To prepare this use case, 
we have built a procedure that creates the user-defined event. A second procedure will respond to this event and write the data file. We have also created a data source that defines the data file. Now we define the trigger. Our condition type is a user-defined event named write demo file. For action type, we choose execute procedure and select the procedure that writes the data file. Note that we can leave this trigger enabled by default because it will not produce any repetitive results when we are not running this demo. Execute the procedure that generates the user-defined event. The trigger will respond to this event by invoking the file writer procedure. You can then open the file from the TDV data source and display its contents. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. Triggers are TDV resources that can execute based on user-defined time parameters, system events, user-defined events, or JMS messages. Actions that triggers may perform include sending email, executing a procedure, gathering statistics on data sources, and re-introspecting data sources. Triggers are important to customers for many reasons. For example, they can be used to provide automated email notification to system administrators when important TDV conditions occur. They can also enable automated response to such conditions. Triggers can also be used to automate common, recurring maintenance tasks. Developers can use triggers to implement complex business processes that need to execute multiple actions in an asynchronous manner. Thank you.